Okay, final method cannot be overridden or hidden, blah, blah, blah. Final method. Final variables can only be initiated once. Okay, there we go. So there you have it. It's not quite a constant. It's uh, just that it can only be initiated once. So let's take a look at here. So double, or final pi. So fuck, it is a constant. Except it's not a constant. You know, it just, it's fucking weird how they do things. But I'm just going to think of it as a constant, and that's it. End of story. Um, yeah, so then we can put in some value. So uh, let's change this up a little bit, and int integer, or int, let's go int count equals zero. And we're going to say, make a sort of timer thing. Um, set text view. Uh, number of seconds. Oops. Seconds gone by. There we go. Now we have a stupid app that you can put on the market. I got a typo there, don't I? Oh, look at that. It does have spell check. Woo! That's awesome. It has spell check. Um, yeah, I need spell check. Number of seconds gone by, blah, blah, blah. And that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to go here and see if we can actually test this thing. So, I'm just going to cancel up my code here. Yep. Oh, don't tell... Okay, unreachable statement. Well, who gives a fuck? I, I It should hopefully compile like that. I'm not sure. I do this all the time in other languages, but I've never done this in Java, so it may bug out. Anywho, um, Java fucking sucks, dot blah, and then this. Does that work? Okay. And this, my Fred equals no. Just double check in that everything's ready to go. And run. Go back to the run here and see if any errors show up. Okay, so unreachable statements. It's an error. Come on, fucking pff, fuck you, man. Okay. Uh, what about. Let's see if I can do this. 1 equals 0. Let's see if it catches this, you stupid piece of fucking shit. Okay. Um, let's run this, compile it up again. That's fucking stupid how you can't just do return and blah blah blah. Yeah, so you can do what. If you want to just block out a code and have it not run, just do if 1 equals 0 type thing. Okay. And, oh, 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 I gotta... I totally fucking for forgot about the thread. Sorry. Holy fucking shit, I can't believe that. Anywho, um, we got our whole thing here, but I totally fucking forgot about the multi-thread in there. The app just quickly crashed, and I just realized, fuck, I forgot, so... Um, after you get the view, you have to do view post, and then new run, run, a ball, come on, oh, I can't type there, there you go, and it sets it up all for you, and it's gay, stupid Java formatting, and then in your runnable, let's go view dot set text, but, um, you get the same thing because it's in a different thread, so you gotta do the final text view. And, oh. So, now we gotta do some stupid fucking shit here and say final m, sorry, f count. Uh, count. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself there, and then I'm just going to go uh, count plus plus. And to make this a bit more accurate, I'm going to put the sleep at the end here. 
and change this to f count like so and save that so this is how you do the sort of invoke thing between the threads when i say invoke i mean from uh c sharp when you do multi threading and you have the like the windows forms or whatever you do invoke to uh handle the multi threading but in the case of java we have dot post and we have run able and uh yeah it's good to go. Um, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do the... If you want to do your own uh, dot .post thing and if you have uh, multiple threads, because you know you guys can figure that out. Just use a little bit of Google, and it's sort of obvious by now with the whole new runnable thing. It just screams how to do it. So um, I'm just going to go here, run app, and I'm going to pull up my camera. And yeah, as you can see, this takes fucking forever to do. Okay, there we are. Let's launch it. Okay, let's switch over to the camera. And then, oh, we got our app here. Seconds gone by. Five, six, seven, eight. So, it works. It works. It's alive. This is the second fucking thing I've made in the Android Studio. So, awesome. Uh... Yeah, hopefully you guys will learn something, and jeez, holy fucking shit, it took 20 minutes to do that. For something that in, let's say, C-sharp, you do in like 30 seconds. <laughs> wow, a minute. Oh, whew, wow. Fucking intense. Uh, wow. And yeah, I got a lot less anger about with this language. I don't know what it is. I'm just getting a bit more used to it, so maybe I'll be less angry when I program with Java in the future. And probably liking it a little bit more. I mean, I'm the sort of kind of guy who just likes sort of every language. I try and see every point of uh, view as to what's made them want to do so. But, I mean, the moment I run into something in Java that isn't logical, I'm just going to get fucking pissed off again. So, I mean, so far it's pretty good with the logic excluding the whole package system. I mean, well, the package thing makes a bit of logical sense, but um, there's a lot of things I just hate about the language. It's just like a pet peeve. It's not really a bad language, it's just I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm going to end it here and see if I can think of, of uh, an idea for what needs to come next, but uh, by this point, you guys should be able to do uh, just pull out Google, start Googling out functions, and um, learning out how to make apps. Because now you can actually do some basic math, and uh, you can call you figure out how to call your views, your uh, UI things. You know, you just apply the whole find blah 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 by ID, and hopefully you guys know the basics to actually make an app. Anywho, I'm going to end it here and probably do a couple more videos later on.